Joey Perez is live in the studio now till 10 a.m. for the Eggs, Bacon, and Joey Morning Show. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Eggs, Bacon, and Joey. And, folks, we have a special guest in studio this morning, Lena Gonzalez. Lucha Extreme announcer. I should probably turn your mic on. That worked. <laughs> You're the Lucha Extreme ring announcer, right? Yep. I mean, first of all, before I even get into what's going on with Lucha Extreme and all the fun stuff that's happening, what got you into becoming the ring announcer for Lucha Extreme? You know, I got really lucky with the opportunity. Um, somebody, uh, one of the producers who no longer is there anymore, but he um, he heard my voice when I was talking to him one time, and he was like, I really like your voice. How about being a ring announcer for Lucha Extreme? And I was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Second of all, sure, I'll try anything once. So, <laughs> so I tried it, and um, I became officially the Lucha Extreme ring announcer. I've been doing it for like a year now. So now, when you first started doing it, did like you obviously? I mean, you had to have been nervous, right? I mean, oh my god, it was in front of the Hanford, my hometown. Oh my god, this gosh. is my first time ever doing something like that. So it was like an interview in front of my hometown. And uh, I mean. Typically, when I think of a, a, a wrestling ring announcer, I mean, you got to know pretty much a lot of details about each wrestler. Do yes. you memorize them? Do you put it on cards? What do you do? Um, I usually use cards. Okay. But now I've done it for so so long, a year. Okay. But um, I'm getting to know my wrestlers. Sometimes I don't even look at my cards. Sometimes I just check on their weight, make sure I'm still good on it. <laughs> and then do some of the wrestlers like come up to you and say, "Hey, you got to say my name like this." Um, no, but okay. there's some who have like really weird names, like like Duckets. <laughs> You'll be here Sunday. Okay. And like when I first said it, I had to practice it like 20 minutes for before the show. It was at the fairgrounds when we did the fairgrounds. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Fresno <laughs> Fair. How was that show, by the way? That was like one of the best shows we've had. Wow. That was a great yeah, crowd. Yeah, because they put the ring right in the middle of the Fresno mm -hmm. Fair. If you guys are uh, wondering and you're just tuning in, uh, Lena Gonzalez of Lucha Extreme. It's a professional wrestling company that actually broadcasts on uh, television, mm -hmm. right? So you guys are on uh, My CV TV. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, K-E-I-L. Uh, and it's uh, every Saturday at 11 a.m. And you can actually uh, check out this show on Comcast, uh, Channel 13, uh, 713 and HD, Dish, DirecTV, and AT&T AT UVerse, uh, Channel 53. So uh, there's no way that you cannot watch uh, Lucha yeah, Extreme. you can even check it out on YouTube. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we got a big event coming up. Yes. And this is called the Holiday Bash. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, live TV taping. And when we say live TV taping, we're actually saying we're recording for... Uh, future broadcast, right? Yes, yeah. That's where we get our segments, and okay. then we put them into the show. And so, when you first started getting into Lucha Extreme, and they told you, "Hey, you're going to be actually on television," were you kind of like, "Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I'm nervous about ring announcing first of all in front of my hometown, but now I'm going to be on TV." Like, did it change like your whole uh, mentality of it? Like, now you got to get a wardrobe. Now you got to make sure that you're doing this and that. <laughs> you know, when he first invited me, he was like, "You know, it's a spot on television because I'm a broadcast and journalist major in, okay. in college." So I was like, "Oh, I need this opportunity, but I'm so." Scared. Scared. And you know, to be honest with you, that's like the only time I found the perfect dress. Since then, I have been struggling and struggling <laughs> to find a dress for television, and that's what scares me. But other than that, yeah, I got a little bit scared, but it wasn't too. It was just more uh, not knowing what I was doing and acting like I did. <laughs> well, it's so cool that you know, uh, not only are you from uh, Hanford, uh, but you actually get to now be a part of a uh, television taping of a program mm -hmm. and a wrestling uh, show. Uh, right here in your hometown. So now it's like, I mean, you, you know the places around here. I mean, you've been to Longfield Center. You, yeah. You've grown up in this area, and you're now bringing a production to uh, your hometown to where people can see you. Mm -hmm. uh, what's probably the most uh, difficult thing for you right now um, being involved in this type of business? Is it maybe uh, that you've you know never watched wrestling, or have you always been familiar with it? What's like one of the most difficult things for you? I watched wrestling when I was younger, and my brother used to like beat me up a lot. <laughs> so then I stayed away from it. It's not really that. I think what's difficult is trying to get other people to like appreciate the art of pro wrestling mm. because it is actually a really beautiful art. Like it's such an amazing show, and like it's so entertaining. And getting people to understand that is kind of hard because not everybody's open-minded towards it because we don't really have that around here. You know what? And you're right because I don't know if Lance told you, but Lance and I literally have had uh, coffee and we've had breakfast and we've had hours conversation mm -hmm. uh, about pro wrestling because I'm a big pro wrestling fan. Nice. So uh, we've had conversations like crazy about pro wrestling, but you're right. It's difficult to get away from the stigma 
of people going, oh, man, I don't want to go watch that fake stuff, or mm -hmm. I don't want to go, you know what I mean? It's like, no, it's entertainment. It's a great program, and, and especially now mm -hmm. for families. I mean, you got a kid, they're into pro wrestling, they're into the WWE, you know, come out and check out, because these guys are the up-and-comers. Yep. These are the guys that you're going to be seeing on WWE, yep. you know, very soon. So, um, no, I, I totally agree. I think that people need to understand, like, this is, pro wrestling is just an unbelievable, like you said, art form, and it's all, an unbelievable way of uh, enjoying some entertainment when you mm -hmm. go there's not been one person and i've taken a lot of people to wwe events right mm -hmm. there's not been one person that wasn't a fan that didn't become a fan after the show right you know what i mean because yeah. when you're there live and you see these guys and you see the performances every person that i've taken there uh, taken to a wwe show has become a fan yeah and uh you know like i said pro wrestling there's just some great entertainment to it and you're right that stigma it's it's the difficult part of trying to uh let people know like hey st put everything aside that mm -hmm. you believe like is fake or whatever and just enjoy the show and have fun and have fun i have fun i'm the ring announcer and i get to watch it <laughs> like my first time i was like oh my god this is what i'm going to represent this is awesome i can't wait for my next show no you're absolutely right and then you know this is stuff that you know i do i have an mma company called 559 fights yes. and i deal with that too i mean i deal with you know when we go get sponsors you know we go get people that try to uh want to get more involved within the world of mma you know uh people you know kind of shun us sometimes because because, oh, well, it's backyard fighting, or these are guys that are just, you know, brawling in a cage. It's like, come on. Okay, these are trained all, athletes. You get in the cage <laughs> exactly. and see how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, uh, Holiday Bash, live TV taping. Uh, what what are some other things that you guys are doing at this event? I, I, see, I hear there's like a, a food drive. Uh, the canned food drive, yeah. Okay. So for every person who brings in two cans per person, gets in free. Okay. Um, well, it's more of a, a minimum. We're just we're donating to the King's Pantry. So the more, the merrier. It's more for like the holiday spirits. So we're just bringing it down so we can have, you know, everybody gather for the holidays and enjoy some good fun I'm without gonna, having to pay extra or anything. Uh, no, that's that's absolutely great. I'm going to put up the uh, This is the poster for the event. And tell me who is featured uh, on this event right here. Who are these guys? Uh, this one guy right here in the middle, he looks tough, That's man. Sergeant Major right there. Okay. Yeah, that's the champion right there. So this guy right here, Sergeant Major, he's the champion. Uh, who are the other guys uh, that are featured? Um, the one in the blue mask, that's the gorgeous Gary Galaxy. You have to say his name slowly. You have to let it roll off your tongue. Ooh, gorgeous okay. Gorgeous Gary Galaxy. <laughs> All right. And then you have Kevin Duckett's. And then on the other side with the blonde hair, that is um, the Highlander, okay. McCall, Jordan McCall. And then that's Shaggy McLovin. All right. Yeah. Shaggy McLovin. Yeah, and he hits people with that skateboard, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's hard. Why too. do I love his name, though? Shaggy <laughs> McLovin. It just it just goes with him. <laughs> that is so cool. So that's the poster, folks, and it's happening uh, December 17th. As you can see, the information is up on the screen right now. Uh, 3 p.m., Longfield Center in Hanford. This is the Holiday Bash live TV taping uh, Lucha Extreme. And you can also check them out at luchaextreme.com uh, as well, right? Yep. And um, when you're at a Lucha Extreme show, you just mentioned that you actually just watch the show, too. Because, I mean, being the ring announcer is one thing, but when you come down uh, out of the ring, uh, you get to sit there and actually enjoy the show right there firsthand, right? I mean, what's, like, some of the, uh, I would say, best experiences that you've had? Have you ever had guys, like, fighting right by your feet? Oh, I mean, I've had my hair pulled by these wrestlers. What? Yeah, it gets crazy up in here. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, my god! I've had the commissioner pull. Uh, he's choked me before. I've had Sergeant Major pull my hair before. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't know what they're they're gonna do when they're out there. So everything's a surprise to me too. So it's all spontaneous. Yeah. I mean, you're like, man, I don't know if it, you know I'm gonna be involved in this. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just all I know is the time that I need to make sure you know that everything's working on television and you know keeping time and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't know what's gonna happen. Now, are you uh, maybe doing a little training too? Maybe a little get a little action there. Um, I Taking mean, some I bumps. Find it one day. <laughs> After college. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. Of I, I mean, that. hey, women's wrestling—it's like picking up right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's becoming a thing. Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Siding with the WWE here though. pretty soon. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was crazy in, in actual, like, cage fighting. Yeah. Imagine how she's going to be in the WWE. Yeah, you know, the Highlander was a, um, he was a, w, uh, not a W, I'm sorry, he was a, um, he was a fighter, too, before this. Before a wrestler, he was an actual fighter. Oh, no way. Mm -hmm. Okay. For MMA. Okay, so yeah. there, there, I think it's a, 
There's a lot of people that don't uh, see the crossover between mm -hmm. MMA and, and wrestling, but there is a big crossover. A lot of the people that are MMA fans now mm -hmm. used to watch WWE, and they were into that stuff. Yeah. So there's always a big crossover. I mean, Brock Lesnar is the WWE champion right now, mm -hmm. and he was the UFC heavyweight champion at one point. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a big crossover. I think that's what's happening is a lot of guys uh, that, let's say, are dwindling down in their MMA careers are now mm -hmm. becoming professional wrestlers. Yes. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, I think it's an amazing uh, art form. I think it's great entertainment. It and is. for those of you that have never had a chance to watch uh, professional wrestling, this is your chance. And I recommend that you go uh, to the Holiday Bash uh, out at uh, the Longfield Center in Hanford, December the 17th, pro wrestling. And on top of that, you get our very own right here, our very own. Lena Gonzalez, she's the Lucha Extreme announcer. Mm -hmm. Now, Lena, I, I, I was thinking about this this whole time, uh, knowing that you were going to come in. And I was like, I want Lena to introduce me right here on the air <laughs> in your announcer voice. Come on, you can do it. And I, I, don't want, I don't want Joey Perez. I want eggs, bacon, and Joey. All right, so here I am. I'm going to act like I'm coming into the ring. Ready? All right. And how much do you weigh? Uh, do you want my real weight or actual? It's up to you. <laughs> let's do what? Uh, let's do 210 pounds. 210 yeah. pounds. Okay. From so, parts unknown. <laughs> so first I start off with, um, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest scheduled for one fall as he makes his way to the ring, weighing in at a total of 210 pounds from eggs, bacon, and Joey, J Live Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that sounds really good. As I said. That's good stuff, man. I like it. I like it. So there it is, folks. Uh, Lena Gonzalez, uh, Lucha Extreme announcer. I want to thank you for taking the time to of wake course. up this early and, and join me. I do have um, finals, so you're welcome. Oh, man. When's your next final? Today. I have my math final, so I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to study for like three hours, and then I'm going to go take it. Man. And my journalist. And that's today. a lot of people right now have finals, right? Yes. That's right before the holiday break. Yes. Ugh. Totally. All right. Well, uh, this Sunday, December the 17th, Pro Wrestling. Uh, the bell time is 3 p.m. Doors open at 2 p.m. Uh, it's presented by Dino Experience. Uh, it is the Lucha Extreme live TV taping holiday bash. You get in for free if you bring a minimum of uh, two can donation per person, right? Yep. And Longfield Center is located at 560 South Dowdy Street in Hanford, 559-585-2530 for more information. Lena, again, thank you so very thank much. I appreciate it. All right. Lucha Extreme, folks. Don't miss this event. We'll be back with more. Stay with us.